The first step in using Accelerate for Previs is to set up some virtual laser fixtures. In the Add Fixture window, we can supply a name for the fixture and select its type, personality, universe, and starting address, just like when patching on a console. We also need to assign it a content pack, which will usually be the same as the one that ships on your laser from the factory. You can install that using the load default option from the content pack menu, or by clicking on the add content pack link in the add fixture menu. We'll add two lasers by setting the quantity here and select apply. Now we have two virtual lasers added to our system, and if we want to see what each laser is doing, we can turn on their preview displays under the view menu. Currently they're not displaying anything because they're not yet receiving control data. To fix that, we'll go into setup, network, and enable artnet input on the appropriate network adapter. Because I already have a console running, we see that we immediately get something happening in the preview displays. We can turn these preview displays on and off, as well as control their visual style using the view menu. We can control the size, point visibility, line visibility, and aerial beam visibility, as well as enable point count and frame per second displays. If we want a larger preview display, we can right-click on a virtual laser and select Show Preview to open an external preview window. If we click on the Options button on the bottom right, we get a similar set of controls as for the inline previews. We also have a set of presets available that are good starting points for most applications. If we want to see a different laser in this window, we can simply select it using the drop-down at the bottom. We can open additional preview windows as needed. Each window maintains its own independent display style, so we can view one laser or several different lasers in different ways at the same time. If we want all preview windows to have the same style, we can set the style we want in one window and then click the Apply to All button to make all the other preview windows match. Of course, Accelerate is designed to be used with much more powerful visualization systems like Capture, Realizer, and WYSIWYG, which will give you a much better idea of how your laser effects will look in the real world. But the built-in preview windows are fast and convenient and can provide quick feedback while building effects or just familiarizing yourself with the Mercury control system. We'll look at setting up real visualization in the next set of videos.